Everybody, we begin at 5:30 with the end of a story we've been following since the beginning. A deli owner in Buffalo faced a judge today for sentencing. News 4's Luke Marty joins us live with what the judge decided. Luke? Yeah, Nalina Ahmed El Shami appeared in Erie County Court today. It's a case that Lovejoy residents have followed closely because of his ties to a corner deli that has been the subject of controversy in the past. 37 year old Ahmad El Shami of Buffalo has been sentenced to six months in jail and five years probation in connection with a welfare fraud case. He has been incarcerated for approximately eight months, so he has enough time in now to successfully be discharged. I apologize from everybody. In April, El Shami, who operated a corner deli on Ludington Street in the city, pleaded guilty to misuse of food stamps. He admitted buying food stamp cards for cash, typically paying half of the amount of their worth, then using the cards to purchase items to be sold in his store. Mr. El Shami certainly has no excuse for his conduct, um, but the root of it seems to be in a drug activity. El Shami's lawyer, Emily Trotz, says some of the angry outbursts toward police were fueled by some anger and a bit of hostility and mistrust. I hope that the police will come to understand that he's not a treacherous villain. He certainly has issues. Um, but once you get down to it, he's a very quiet, soft spoken man. In a separate case, El Shami was sentenced to five years probation after pleading guilty last month to attempted burglary. That probation sentence will run concurrent with a food stamp case. I hope that he will complete the necessary programs he needs to leave a clean and sober life. El Shami was also ordered to make restitution in the food stamp case to the tune of $3,800. The corner deli at Ludington and Davy Streets has been closed since the city revoked its license. In the newsroom tonight, Luke Moretti, News 4.